Hello and welcome to today's demo on Password Reset by ServiceNow. The Password Reset feature allows two use cases to be supported, both end user or employee self-service based reset, meaning that users who are locked out of their accounts can on their own provide verification information and unlock themselves, as well as service desk assisted reset, which allows a user to call into a service desk and the service desk agent will follow the same steps that the users are provided in self-service, entering the information on the user's behalf, and then providing them with a new password that is set over the phone. Both are available and both allow connections into credential stores that are commonly used such as Active Directory or Azure AD, but they can also be extended beyond those two simple examples to other credential stores and applications. In addition, you can define your own identification methods, whether an employee self-identifies primarily via username, email, ID, etc. And those verification methods we mentioned, the security questions like the SMS codes, personal data, email links, they can be set using the out of the box or custom as well. We'll take a look at the self-service example in detail, but the key takeaways are that employees will enroll in these verification types that you set, either manually or automated through data definitions, and then they'll be able to engage with these interfaces for password reset or password change. And the service desk agents will be able to consume a similar style interface. Now let's take a look at the steps involved in employee self-service reset. The first step in the process is launching the actual reset experience and what we call identification, where the user enters a unique identifier like a username, an email, an ID, as well as a CAPTCHA to ensure no brute force attack is occurring. Once their identity is verified, they go on to the verification step to make sure that it is them. So this is where your security multi-factor verification options you've defined come into play. In this example, we're using an SMS verification code, which was defined to send to the mobile device they registered or you had registered for them in enrollment. And then they can fill out any other questions that you may have defined, such as security questions. So you could define multiple verification types until ultimately the user goes and resets their own password, which can be done to provide the user a new password automatically or allow them to enter their, their own new password that requires a uh, successful complexity definition as per your organization's policies. Now, as mentioned, this is a configurable screen, meaning you can define what those automatic passwords are that get set, as well as what the complexity requirements will be in your organization. Let's take a look at a similar demo but done through mobile. So as since it's web-based, an employee using their mobile device, because they could be locked out of their actual corporate devices, so it's personal mobile, can navigate to a, a web page that has a link to reset their password. That link would take them to this screen. They begin by entering their identity information. In this case, we're using email address. We complete a CAPTCHA, and then we go to the verification questions in the next step. You'll see here that in this example on mobile as well, we are doing the SMS verification where we're sending that verification code using either email gateways or if you're using a Twilio integration, we can use that as well. And then we'll get that code and we'll be able to enter it in. Now other common verification types used are things like a Google Authenticator or email link. But as mentioned, you could also set up a newer verification types yourself, such as facial recognition, voice recognition, etc., by integrating in those services. We recommend that as opposed to using some more traditional questions like the security questions, which no longer are best practice. Now at the end of the process, as we highlighted, the user will be able to enter a new password or receive an automated password set for them. In this case, as they're typing in that new password, we will also indicate how the complexity meets the given requirements. From a consumption point perspective, 
We'll highlight that it's common to put these links to reset on any login screen, so when the user is locked out, they can easily access it. But you could also have links that go to these reset experiences sent through other channels, such as automated email replies, virtual agents, or in addition, we have a MSI or EXE that will be on an operating system on login so that it's there at the beginning of the experience. Next, let's look at the technician service desk reset that we highlighted. So as mentioned, it's the same process and it could be initiated by a technician from a screen or directly from a user record in ServiceNow. They can click that as well. There, they'll be able to select who the user is if they didn't go directly from a user record. They'll also select the process because you could use this password reset for multiple credential stores. And after that, they'll be guided to complete the verification of who that user is. So each piece of information has, as noted, a, a correct answer, and they will enter that on behalf of the user and confirm that information that the user provides because again, it's generally done over the phone. After they enter all those details, it's more common to use an automated process here to automatically set a new password for the employee and then to read out phonetically what that new password is over the phone. Now, in addition to self-service and service desk for the actual consumption, we do have a number of definition points, including the enrollment in the processes, reporting on the utilization, how many users are locked out, how many times users reset passwords, and really you can understand you know, the, the usage of the automated password reset and use that to understand the ROI that the organization is getting from an automated password reset solution. A number of other features are included, such as the ability to see locked out users and utilize this interface as a way to unlock employees as you can define security definitions around the number of invalid you know, login attempts or reset attempts that will cause a user to become locked. There's of course advanced logging as well and that will allow you to do auditing around the usage of the tool. So in conclusion, the ServiceNow Password Reset product provides self-service and service desk reset and it has pre-built integrations for things like Microsoft Active Directory. You can extend it and you can customize it and add your own verification types and credential stores that you integrate into the solution. 